Go download my free Legato course right now and learn to play fast in the fastest way possible. It's four core exercises that you need to focus on in order to reach the highest level of mastery. And then I'm going to give you the three sub skills of Legato. Once you master these three little skills, then the overall skill of playing very fast runs using hammer-ons and pull-offs will be very easy. So go sign up right now and get immediate access for free. See you in the course. Seems like, you know, a beginner's thing here, but it's such a good example of how uh, we just, we need focus to solve uh, the challenges we, we come across because most of our challenge is about not having focus. And bar chords and the struggle to get those bars down in an accurate and effective way is really such a, such a, uh, a good example. Because what we're told is that a bar chord is a matter of playing one of these open string chords down here, like, and usually the E shape or the A shape in minor or major, uh, first off. And then we, we, we were told to put our finger across the fretboard here in order to emulate the, you know, open strings, right? So we, we just basically move this to the third fret, for instance, and then we play that E major there. That's, that's the story of bar chords. But what every single one of us do, uh, at least if we master bar chords, is not that at all. We're not putting pressure upon six strings at one time. What we do do is that we put pressure on the ones that we're actually playing. <laughs> because, <laughs> ooh, sorry. Because if you try to put pressure on all six strings, you're going to have, uh, you know, fretting hand fatigue very rapidly. And so what we end up doing, whether we, th we know it or not, is that we put pressure on the low string here. Let's just take, uh, as an example, the G, which is basically, in this uh, case here, uh, an E shape that I'm playing in the third fret. And so you basically move that up. So I put my, <laughs> sorry, just uh, my third uh, finger in on the A string in the fifth fret, my fourth finger in the same fret, but on the D string. And then I have my second finger on the G string in the fourth fret. And then I put my first finger, let's just do the bar here, put my first finger in the third fret on the low E string. Then I have a nice chord there. But then I take my the side of my finger, uh, the, the hard place here, the bony thing here, not this one because I have a lot of soft tissue right there, but I take the side of it, which is hard, and I press that, I, I, I put a clamp, like this is my thumb on the other side, I put a clamp on that, on those two uh, strings down here. But I do it like this. So now I, I don't have a bar going for me here. I have a, I have a little clamp. If I move my fingers right now, try not to. It looks like this, all right? So so it's not like this, like eh. It's actually just a little, and it's so high. I'm using no effort to make that happen. Once I have that going, it's really easy to put my my the, the the tip of my finger here on the in the third fret. See what I have now? That's not a bar. That's a crooked finger right there. Because I'm only playing. If you hear the strings now, ah, and then I have. I'm not using any force to press down strings that I'm, you know, using my other fingers to. Right. Right. So I go. I put my fingers up. So this is uh, this is sufficient because I'm not using any more resources than I have to. And my f my first finger looks like this and not like this, right? The same thing goes on when I do A string bar chords. I put my first finger on that uh, root note, and I actually have my the tip of my finger move the low E string. So let's say I'm playing an A minor shape, but I move it to the third fret. Put my first finger in the. Th third fret on the A string, and then it touches 
the low E string and mutes that. And then I have, you know, almost my the bone of my finger here, or the knuckle right there, the side of it, which is very hard, it's just skin and bone. And I put that right there on the high E string. And then I have my little, you know. And I remember how that, oh, those bar chords were just destroying uh, the muscle power in my hands because I was trying to uh, emulate that, those open strings. So that's the way to do it. And then you can... Then it becomes easy suddenly. Uh, and, and that's such a good example of how we just, you know, we take something and then we just explain it on a superficial level and then we try to do it and then it's up to ourselves, up to the brain to develop the right strategy for making that happen. And I never really consciously th figured this out. I just looked at my fingers one, one sunny day and thought, oh, how peculiar, I'm actually not doing a bar, I'm actually fretting the low E string and the two top strings, the B and the E string here, with one finger. I'm not doing a bar. So, so do this, practice this, focus on it when you practice and you learn it so much faster with so much less uh, grievance and frustration and, and question marks in your head about why doesn't this work? Subscribe for more free videos. Do it, do it now, do it.